Listen up, gentlemen. One week from today, 0800 hours, your asses better be here. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Dismiss. Where are you going? Going back to see Jane. You can't just go back to the States in the middle of the war because you miss your girlfriend. That's how close I came to being a dead man. I got a second chance. Go AWOL and you're done. I'm only AWOL if I don't get back on time. Military fly free. You mind if I take the window seat? How's it going, sweetheart? <laughs> take a dinner is out. If you come to look for recruits, I think you've come to the wrong place. Hey there, Janie. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm holding you right now. I cannot believe Jane has a boyfriend. In Vietnam. Damn. I leave for 10 minutes and I miss everything? My lovely lady, are you? Uh, I am Candace. Let me guess. You see a couple of army guys and you think we're the enemy or something. Am I right? I just want the truth. A couple days ago, I didn't think we were going to make it out alive. Now, you're the loveliest angel I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> Sorry. Did you say the loveliest angel? OK. I was just joking. Don't these people have jobs? Go to work or protest a war. It's not a tough decision. Hey, you think I got a chance with Candace? Honestly, no. I was hoping you'd say that. You got any grease for this thing? Yeah, we have a guy who fixes it. You should fire him. <laughs> I say I'm good with my hands. I can see that. Someday soon. You should have told me to bring a suit. Well, that would have spoiled the surprise. Yeah. Look out, two American soldiers who have the conviction to say we won't stay. Deserters. They'll hang our asses. We're going back tonight. Why go back now? You made a commitment. You don't know the meaning of the word. Please don't go. I've never been committed to a damn thing in my whole life. Yeah. Not the war, nothing. Until now.